so planning experiment you have to plan the experiment uh, the last we did was question 9 i guess no tin oxide we did this we did iron tin zinc yeah that is also done this question we have when iron nails rust, the mass of a nail increases because uh, iron reacted with oxygen in a water it will form a hydrated iron oxide, iron three oxide, which will also known as a rust. Plan an experiment to investigate if iron nail rust more quickly in a tap water or in a distal water. And you're provided with a new iron nails in a common lab of it. Remember, rusting is a slow process, so it cannot happen like within five minutes or 10 minutes. So we have to leave the apprentice for at least a week or two, like at least minimum one week or two weeks or three weeks. It, it's a slow process. So first, what we will do, first, we'll measure the mass of iron nail, like take equal masses of the iron nails. How we can measure the mass? Which apprentice we should use to measure the mass? by using a balance. So we place these iron nails on the balance and we'll measure the mass of these nails, okay? Then we'll take a test tube and we fill this test tube, like example, with five cm cube of a water or first five cm cube of a tap water. Which apparatus I should use to measure five cm cube of a tap water? Which apparatus I can use? I can use measuring cylinder, I can use, I can use a burette, I can use, um, yeah, burette is there. So measuring cylinders, in this case, like amount of a water is not that effective. It is there, but so not accurate measurement is needed. So what we can do, we can add 5 cm cube of a, a tap water by using a measuring cylinder. So measuring cylinder, using a measuring cylinder, 5 cm cube of, Tap water is added and we place the iron nails equal. The, for a fair comparison, uh, for distilled water and the tap water, we should have the equal amount uh, of equal mass of the iron nail and size uh, as well because the rate of reaction is affected by the size. Then what we will do, we will leave the apparatus open for one week or two weeks. And after leaving this apparatus for one or two weeks, what we'll do, we'll filter. When we filter, iron nails will left behind and we'll have the water which will pass through the tap water if you're using. And then we will dry these nails, dry the nails by using a tissue paper and then measure the mass again. And like we measure the initial mass and now we'll measure the final mass. And we'll repeat this procedure with a distal water and compare the one which shows a greater change in mass that is rusting much faster because the one which is showing a greater amount of a rust, that means it is rusting much faster. So the points, this, this experimental procedure, so what are the points you will mention? So we'll take equal mass, and size of iron nails. After taking the equal mass and the size of the iron nails, we transfer them into into a test tube. Add 5 cm cube of the distilled water or a tap water first and leave the apparatus for one week. Then filter and dry and reweigh. Then repeat the experiment with distilled water. And 
compare the masses, compare the increase in mass, the experiment which shows greater change in the mass rust quickly. So the one which shows, it can be a tap water, it can be a distilled water, you have to you don't have to write which one will show a greater change in mass. You just have to plan that how it can be done. So plan this experiment now.